Hey there, welcome to the channel. This channel is all about professional coding practices. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to integration test Express controllers with SuperTest. In this video, we're gonna install SuperTest, a super awesome library to test your controllers super easily. And then we're gonna add tests for controllers. And that's it. So let's get started. We have a module that's missing tests for its controllers. All right. Here are the controllers. So there are two controllers. And you can see it maybe has business logic that shouldn't really be here. So you want to refactor this to the service layer. Let's start with the integration test. So we are making sure that we're not breaking anything. Here we have the NPM package. So let's go there. And now let's start with a simple test. So we're missing here this for TypeScript. We need the app. So let's import that. Request name target. So let's start with this. It says okay, but there's some warning here. So let's uh, make this asynchronous and do a wait here. Okay, not working. So we're missing what we did for our other tests, uh, and that's to pre prepare MongoDB. So while we don't have this centrally, we always have to import this. Going forward, we might change that. Let's refactor this a bit. All right. Let's add a test to create. Well, we should really be expecting 201. We'll do Twitter, one and then Let's add a few failing tests for the creation. So in this case we are expecting a bad request. Let's create another test to fetch a list of one name target into yes. So this is not going to be exposed again. When you fetch it, you will get a title, you will get an ID. So we can use created.id and we will get created at. So let's start with a simple test, shoot fetch an empty list guesses. This route is actually not supported, so we might actually add a test for that as well. Shoot fetch an empty list of guesses when name target does not exist. So let's start with the create. I think actually you need a name target ID to be able to create. So let's start with that. Should not create a guess when name target does not exist. Okay, it's working. So we need target. 
should create a guess when oh. keep it simple let's create a guess so here we need a name tag and then we can have tag name or get id equals id dot id and this should be okay Yes, and then the product name, um, a product, yes, so let's have another one, should create a correct guess, now we're gonna guess the correct name, here, and now correct is all true, so let's clean this up a bit. this one can be pulled straight into this one and like it does not exist it should create an incorrect guess so this is assuming that we have a name target so let's take a look at that so let's do a before each here so we're gonna create a name target with correct name and then here skip this one then we're gonna pull in the next case already have the name should create a correct guess and then we're gonna have here correct name correct name maybe just for consistency we can also have here incorrect name Should not catch guesses by using no SQL injection. So this time we create we create a guess and then we fetch by name target ID, but we're not actually sending in the name target ID. We're using a query, so something like uh, equals one not equals so fetch everything that does not equal one and then we're expecting this to be empty okay so seems like sql no no sql injection is not working so that's good what are some of the things that we might do next well we might refactor business logic out of the controllers and test it and we might might add husky to run tests pretty early before you come in that's a super nice framework Thank you all for watching, I hope you liked the video, you can of course refactor the tests more going forward, but make sure to keep them readable, readability is more important than duplication. Please like and subscribe and comment if you'd like me to cover something. So thank you all, see you later.